What's up, I'm Tyler Casey, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the Light Dome Mark II by Aperture. If you guys don't know what the Light Dome Mark II is, it's an accessory that Aperture came out with for their lights, like the 120D, 120D Mark II, and the 300D. They had the original version, the Light Dome Mark I, and they just came out with the new version. So today I'm gonna to be comparing the two, and I'm gonna be talking about all the cool features of the Light Dome Mark II. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe. I drop all sorts of videos from music video behind the scenes to my podcast, and I do lighting video breakdowns, all sorts of stuff. So when I first got this light, I noticed the case is a lot bigger. It's about the size of like a tripod case by Manfrotto. That's kind of what I thought it looked like. But this dome is a little bit bigger and it's a lot easier to set up so it stays built. So you kind of lose the portability of it, but I much rather have the light dome Mark II. What comes in the bag, you're gonna get the new and improved light dome. Then you're gonna get your diffusions. You're gonna get one new diffusion, which is super diffused. It's two and a, It takes two and a half stops of light. So you're gonna lose a lot of light, but your image is gonna be really soft. It's gonna come with the original diffusion that comes with the original light dome. Then also what they added is the gel holder. Before you had to tape your gels onto your light dome and possibly burn them. Now it just clips in magnetically and it's super easy to put your gels in. So it comes with that now. And then it also comes with a grid. It's gonna give you an overall more focused beam of light. That's what the dome does as well. They made it deeper and more narrow. So it's you're gonna have a lot more control with your lighting with this light dome. So Aperture claims you could set this light up really fast, like under four seconds compared to the old light dome, which is true in some sense, but I wanted to do this all the way to completion with someone who's been setting up the light dome for a while. When you first set up the light dome, the original, it's really hard. It's I almost gave up in the beginning, but after you get the hang of it, you can do it pretty fast. So I did a comparison with my guy Hatch86 Films. He's been using the light dome for, I don't know, like six months now. So have I, but then it was my first time setting up the light dome Mark II. So here's a comparison video and I'm gonna kind of talk through it. So when opening it, you can see the two different bags. The original bag is a lot more organized, I think. So he starts putting in all the rods and as soon as he's putting in the rods, mine's pretty much built. Um, but then this was my first time putting in the diffusion. So this got a little bit tricky. I'm putting on the little cloth, the little cloth diffusion. This is my first time doing this with this specific light. So I finished quickly. And then right here when I was doing the back, these were a little bit they haven't been broken in yet, so they were a little bit tough to do. But Josh picks up here pretty quickly, and he makes up for it. It only took him about 30, 40 seconds longer than it took me to set up the Light Dome Mark II. Then we did Breakdown. I think the Breakdown's a little bit more similar because it's pretty easy to break down the Light Dome Mark I and the Light Dome Mark II. And I'm not too used to doing the Light Dome Mark II yet, but it is nice that they all stay connected so you don't have to do it again later. Actually even beat me on this by a couple seconds. Just a few seconds. So when it comes down to price, there's about a $60 difference. The original Light Dome's around $150 and the new Light Dome's $220. I think the $60 difference is definitely worth it. One. For the initial setup time, not having to put all those pins in, it is really annoying. If it doesn't bother you, go ahead and get the old one. But the feature I really like the most is the gel holder. Because before I was always taping gels and burning them, but now you can literally just click this little gel holder in and then you can slap any gel, any color. But I think this is a really nice feature that I really like because putting gels and using gaff tape is never fun. Being able to have a magnetic holder that holds the gels is really cool. But then again, if you're on a budget and you want the light dome, you can always get a used one now because there is the Mark II and everyone's going to be selling theirs. If you guys want to purchase the light dome, I have the link to Aperture's website below. It's an affiliate link. Whatever you buy, get a small percentage from. And I also have it listed on Amazon as well. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to comment below. Let me know if you guys want to get the new light dome, if you think it's worth it or not. And make sure to subscribe. I'm Tyler Casey. Make sure to check out my podcast every Wednesday and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.